And we spot this buck and we're like, whoa. And Sage, he's like, that's that eight point, the short, short time buck. He goes, we gotta get, we gotta try to try for him. We gotta get him out. So, yep. So we hurry up, we take the ditch. We, we're walking through the ditch. And now I gotta tell you something. We have probably seen more cottonmouth moccasins than we've seen our entire time down here all these years combined. So we're walking this little sandbank and these little puddles, these dark, like black oil watered puddles that you can't see the cottonmouths. That got in our crawl a little bit. <laughs> you're looking for the deer and then you're looking for the snakes. You're looking for the deer and then you look for the snakes. And so, I mean, we, you suck it up and come around these palmettos and we, we could see a doe coming out. And this other doe comes running out. And we're like, and Sage goes, I could see him, he's pushing him. So sure enough, we hurried up, did a little bit of crawling, got set up, we got our bog pot up. I got that muzzle loader up there, and we're looking and looking. Terry, yeah. are you on him? Yeah. Are you on him? Yeah. Okay, wait. Terry. <laughs> We're down here in Florida and I just took my first white-tailed buck here in Florida with a traditions muzzle over. <laughs> Look at that, is that awesome or what? Shot him with our Traditions muzzle loader, 250 grain bullet, 100 grains of loose powder. Um, and the shot, you know, I mean, right right up right here. So I was a, I was a little hair high, dropped him in his tracks. Oh yeah. Tarsals aren't even, you know, smelling up yet. No. They're in rut though, right? I mean, or- This is, this is rut for this area. Um, now actually, explain that, cause that's weird to well, us. Well, back up where I, I live, I live 12 miles from here. The 12. Rut, 12 miles. I, the rut, the main rut, I would say is the last weekend of September. We're in the last week of yep. October. Yep. We're 12 miles to the west of our, of my house and the buck's rut over here right now. And even further west, five, 10, 12 miles west of here, it's November, it's the, it's Thanksgiving, but we don't really have a predominant rut is what the biologists tell us because okay. we have does having fawns, you know, they have them all year. And then, you know, we don't have a predominant rut, but when right. we see the most deer rut uh, activity is end of September on our place, here. Near end of October. Near Oct end of October. Well, here's the deal. This buck ain't making it to another rut. Nope. Thanks, Sage. Yep. Yeah, we, I gotta tell you, we had a blast. We are spotting and stalking deer here in Florida with the Kempfers. And I'm, this is my first Florida buck. <laughs>